Hi class, welcome to Advantage. I'm Sean Flaherty, your instructor for Physics 1 Mechanics. First of all, welcome. Uh, mechanics is typically organized in three main areas. We have kinematics, statics, and dynamics, and then conservation principles. Those are big words. Maybe you don't know them yet. Maybe you don't need to yet. But kinematics is the study of motion where we focus on what is happening, just the motion part. Statics and dynamics, it's the study of interactions. Usually we call those forces. And that's the why we're seeing the what we're seeing. So those two are very much related. In this class, we're gonna to try to keep them separate as we're learning, but we'll be making a lot of connections in that kinematics, or sorry, the statics and dynamics section. And finally, we get to conservation principles where our focus changes into things related to energy and momentum. So that's what we will be doing in this course. But maybe we should start with a question, a um, simple one, like why are you here? An existential question, right? Those are easy ones. Perhaps you're here just because you're curious and you just want to know a little bit about physics. In that case, welcome. Maybe you've taken physics before and you want a refresher before you take another related content. Welcome. Uh, it's also quite possible, very likely, that you are taking this course somewhere and you're looking for extra resources to get you an advantage to enhance your understanding and maximize the best possible grade you can get. So welcome. No matter what your purpose is for coming here, I think what we have is something that will help you better understand and meet those goals. Next question. Is physics hard? Uh, my favorite answer is yes and no. Um, it can be, let's start with the good news. Physics is very organized, it's structured, it's logical, right? We've got structure. Within each of these pieces, we establish models that we build to understand, to deploy in specific cases. So that's good, it's organized, but it can be complicated because of all of the knowledge and skills you're using simultaneously. Uh, and sometimes things are a little bit misleading, or you might read this as, oh, this is a trick question. It just is a question that has this extra subtlety that is often missing in a, a quick conversation in class. So hopefully we can focus on some of those subtleties in here. If you're going to get a problem right or question right or wrong in a physics class, it's often because of something happening along this path. These are the skills that have been identified, or at least that I identify, as the key skills along the way, the things you must do in order to be correct or increase the likelihood that you're correct. The first task is often to carefully read and decode the information given. Often this is with word problems. There's a lot of reading. So you've got a language skill that we need to address first. Then we have to organize this information in a way that is useful to you and relevant. That's an organizational skill. It's separate from this one. It's important. We have now a very big physics skill would be identifying the appropriate model from the stuff we've talked about before. Is this a kinematics model? Is this a statics and dynamics model? Is this an energy model? Figuring out which one is most appropriate to accomplish the task you have in front of you. And then we get to the math. Often people focus on the math part. We don't even get to the math part until we've done these other things. That's where we have to execute, uh, execute mathematics principles, whether it's algebraic, whether it's graphical, geometry, or calculus. There's a lot of different math skills that we get to use in this class, but before we can get there, we have a lot to do. And then when you're done with the math part, you have to know when you're done and how to answer the question. And that a lot of it has to do with subtleties, subtleties in language associated with physics that is a major sticking point for students. So what I'm going to encourage throughout is the thoughtful, deliberate practice of all of these things while honoring the subtlety associated with the class. All right, now that we've looked at the organization of mechanics and identified some essential skills, uh, our next video we will focus on an example where the subtlety associated with this really plays a big part.